while, but you know, I can mingle in. So yes, what will you need to take to uni? Yes, you will obviously need clothes and your shoes and your bags and whatever else. But there are a few essentials that you also need to take. For example, bog roll. I don't know, you just need this. You will always run out or somebody will always nick it. This is going to be mopping up everything. Lou roll just does everything. It's like a multi kind of tasky type thing. It does everything. Buy those big packs of nine and double that up to get five times that and take that in the car down to uni. You will also need cooking items. Stuff to cook your stuff in. Noodles. Yes, you will need frying pans. You will also need a cooking pot as well. So if you want to do your rice, your pasta, things like that. So make sure you have a good pot and a good frying pan to take down to uni. You will also need cooking utensils. You will need also forks many forks and many knives because trust and believe people are going to take yours yes you will have your separate little drawer which you may put your name on but people are going to go in there and use them so make sure you have backup supply 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 go down to cheap places like wilkinson's tesco's and stuff where you can get knives and forks for like less than a pound you will need washing powder or washing liquid for your clothes yes you need to do some kind of washing i know there's going to be some of you nasty asses who's going to leave your washing for when you go back to your parents house every five months that's just disgusting do some washing up yourself buy one of these big tubs so then you can just go to laundry and just stick them in and wash them they're going to come out all nice and clean and fresh you will need bed linen now let me tell you a little story about bed linen you may be going to uni where they say you know we're obviously supplying you with a bed duvet and i'll have a duvet cover and things like that one they're, they're quite good some of the universities i have that but just remember sometimes these are recycled bed in is like you know duvet covers and things like that and just think of the other person that slept in it you don't want to what i did personally they did supply me with pillows and a duvet and whatnot but i actually bought my own duvet and pillows and stuff because i'm a bit funny like that and just you know you can buy them quite cheaply again from places like tesco's or just any home furnishings uh store that you can go to and just have it because it's your kind of it's your own put the ones that a university gave to you like under your bed or in the wardrobe or something just keep it nice and clean because they do charge you if you do get spillages or whatever it is on the actual duvets I just realized what i said but don't don't take that in the wrong way dirty context okay but um yes so my idea would be to bring um across your own duvet your own pillow and then your own throws and stuff your duvet covers and your pillowcases and things like that so it's yours and you feel clean you will need food and lots of it and make sure when you're first going down and being dropped off that you have done your shopping because that first few weeks is going to be quite daunting so make sure you've got stuff in your cupboards and the reason why i pulled out some things like macaroni is because it's quite quick and it's quite simple to make and especially there's going to be some of you who are going to you and you you can't cook so <laughs> If that's you, this is quite simple. You can't really go too wrong. For the rest of you people who are like me and went to university and you can cook your culinary dishes as I was doing, you can take down whatever. But you know, your pasta, your rice, you know, if you've got your bits of meat, a good thing is as well, meal prepping. I know a few people did this where, you know, you'd cook at the beginning of the week and you just put it in the freezer. So you're coming in, you're tired. You want to study but you haven't got that much time to do everything else like eat which is very important so you can just pull out one of your meal prepped meals and it's going to take a few minutes to warm up and it's just simple like that you've got your week done so do things like that so basic kind of foods your pastas your rices get sauces for them get your chicken get you know whatever meats and things you eat if you do eat meat or whatever get them stock them up keep your eye on people when it comes to refrigerator there are some people who will eat your food you will need anti backy wipey things which will help you in every sense of the word whether it comes to when you're using the kitchen if you've got a shared bathroom and i had one of those i had to share a bathroom and it was disgusting the way people used to leave it so you may want to take some anti backy wipes so you can just get clean it down before you use it so you don't get rabies or something like that make sure you've got these on hand they're just quick and simple as well if you're cooking in the kitchen you have a spillage just wipe it over so the next person can use it and you know you're not being rude by leaving it in such a mess but they always come in handy again these are so cheap and cheerful to buy and sometimes you can get them involved they're on offer like up two for two pounds and things like that really handy to have make sure you pick yourself up some you will need some air freshener don't ask me why but in halls of residence something always stinks something always stinks or somebody always stinks 
and toilets and things like that. Just have some on hand, spray it where you need it because trust me, you will need a laptop of some sort, a printer of some sort if you're not going to be using the university one and printing paper as well. These are so important, especially the laptop or computer if you're taking it. This is going to be your life. This is what everything's going to be on. Make sure you've got like memory cards, memory sticks and things like that, a hard drive to back things up. Please back your stuff up. Don't be like me when I lost my, what was it, coursework one year. Literally, you had to do it all again because it had gone. So make sure you've got something like that. But these are going to be your tools of the trade for the whole three years that you're going to be at uni. So make sure you have a good working solid computer for your course. And that's it guys, that's your basics. This is a fun video, but literally, good luck to each and every one of you who is going to uni. If you have any questions and you'd like me to make another video or anything, as always, comment below. Thumbs up, make sure you share this with your friends as well because sharing is caring. And if you've got any tips, tricks, whatever it is for people who are going to uni and you've been, you've experienced everything, again, leave them in the comments box below and I shall see you on my next video. Take care.